to another episode of Watch Once Over. My name is Big E. Today we're going to be looking at a very special watch. This is the Seiko Ocean uh, Traveler. This is in the uh, Persage line. And this is model um, SARF012. This is a, um, a GMT Greenwich Mean Time watch. And it, you can read uh, two time zones with this. And it also is equipped with a beautiful radio date uh, down there at 6 o'clock. Power reserve um, right between uh, 9 and 10.30. And it has great, great aesthetics and looks. Now this watch is all grade 5 titanium. And you do get a, a gold um, uh, uh, DLC uh, coated bezel. And you get the uh, soundless polishing on the sides of the case, um, the titanium case. Now, this case is a, a 40, what is this, a 40 millimeter case. It's 14.6 millimeters thick. And um, it's just a nice case. You got 29 jewels. I'll do a lug to lug on this because I don't know what that is. The lug to lug is right around a 47. So, with this being a 40 millimeter watch, 47 millimeter lug to lug, it's going to fit a whole lot of wrists. And it's, I recommend this down to a wrist about five um, inches because of the case is, is titanium in nature. And this watch is super light. And you get a titanium case, bracelet, and a clasp. I don't know if the buckle is titanium, but I know um, everything else is. And it's real nice. Now, this is powered by. Um, uh, travel GMT movement and what I mean by that is that it has an independent um, hour hand so you pull it out one and you can roll the hour hand backwards and forwards to time zones so doesn't matter if you're going forward in the time zone see the date jump up or if you go backwards and the date will also go backwards so that's real important to people who are uh, traveling because they need that uh, feature so when you correct the date it goes forward or backwards through time zones so just keep that in mind this is a travel GMT uh, a setup similar to our Rolex GMT and then to set the GMT hand you pull it out set the GMT hand first whatever your time is going to be let's say uh, we're going to do it at um, at eight o'clock in the morning, then you'd pull it. Um, then you'd push it in one, and then you'd set your local time. And your date is tied to your local time, as you can see that. So whatever your local time would be, then that's how you would set that. So it's really useful. I like travel GMTs um, better than the home time GMTs, where the GMT hand is tied to the date wheel when you roll back and forth. I think this is a um, this is a lot uh, a cooler watch. Now you have a dome sapphire crystal, a two tone rehaul, which is cream on the bottom and it's uh, black on the top, and that's that's real nice. And then you have a Gyoshi uh, textured dial, and you can see that right there. Highly polished uh, indices, no loom on this model. And then right up top, you get the Seiko sign, which is applied. Presage Automatic and GMT. All of the printing on this watch is first rate and excellent. And this is a 6R64 movement with a 45-hour power reserve. Well, about a 41-hour power reserve. I take that back. So this watch is just lovely. You get a sign Seiko crown, non-screw down. You get a screw down back. That's nice. 100 meters water resistance. Solid in links. Twin trigger deployment. Class with the Seiko name inscribed on there. Super lightweight, cool watch. This watch is awesome. I like the cream color. I like the gold leafed hands. 
the beautiful gold hour hand and a gold applied Seiko uh, logo and that octagon bezel is really nice or a uh, didactagon or something I don't know I, I didn't actually count the sides to that but it's beautiful somebody comment on the box how many sides that is what's that called I forgot what it's called but nonetheless it's a beautiful watch now this watch is a uh, kind of a um, working uh, prototype so I did notice that the chapter ring is a little off but this one is just going to be um, kind of like a sample so it's but it nonetheless is beautiful and I like it so no loom on this one but um it's a beautiful watch all titanium and this is what they're going to look like and I'll try it on my 7.25 inch wrist as, as I said before it's going to fit a lot of people and it's going to look good that is going to look good so tell me what you think about this one it has that beautiful beautiful uh, guilloche dial Nice little buttons on the power reserve. See that gear shell dial? That is beautiful. Look at that. That thing just lights up at different angles. This one is a winner. So let me know what you guys think about this um, Ocean Traveler uh, Presage, all titanium. My name is Big E. That's the watch one took for today. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one.